Hi, my name is Brandy Hodson. Um, my husband and I started coming to Cedar Crest in, during the pandemic, I would imagine, March or so. Um, we moved to Dallas and I had a couple of coworkers that had told us about Cedar Crest. And so we tuned in online and then just really fell in love with the church and with Pastor Van and um, really decided to make that our home. I guess, so growing up, I always went to church with my grandma and um, we would go to Sunday school and I really enjoyed going with her. It was really important to me. I loved getting to go and it was just our bonding experience. But that was about the only experience that I really had with Jesus and with God and even knowing anything about the church. Um, family would go kind of casually, but um, it was just different. And then in high school, I dated this guy and then we dated throughout college and just ended up finding myself in an abusive relationship. And he had no relationship whatsoever with God. And uh, I always felt that I wanted to have that relationship and always felt that inside of me and wanted to have that, you know, very personal relationship with Jesus. And um, just having somebody that wasn't supportive was really um, just scary because you didn't really know how a situation was going to be taken. And um, that was kind of a sad part of my life. And so after kind of ended that relationship and moved into the relationship I had with my now husband, um, we started going to church and getting a lot more of that kind of uh, faith basis um, on our day-to-day -day relationships. So it was just like really good for me. Like I would have like a safe place. I could cry, I could be happy. I could find just comfort, but I didn't know how to like bring that with me, um, like outside of the church and how to carry that with me throughout my day-to-day. -day. So along with my husband and just like a great support system around me and like with Cedar Crest, it helped me realize like what I was missing in life and then what I needed and I just needed more of God, I needed more of Jesus, and I needed to like really press in and listen. And it's so powerful and amazing to see like when God can come into your life and just like pick you up and take you out of that and then just like speak to you and to show you that you're loved. It's incredible. I just want to get baptized. I owe it to God. I owe everything to Jesus since he's given us everything. He loves us unconditionally and you know, we're brought to have a relationship with God because of Jesus and I just want to share that with everybody and show the goodness and the greatness that happens in my life and share that with everybody else as well. My name is Brandy and I have decided to follow Jesus. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, well, good morning, Cedar Crest. My name is Cody Harmon. I'm one of the Life Group pastors uh, here at Cedar Crest Church. And Brandy, we are so excited to celebrate with you uh, this morning. We're so uh, excited to see your, your own journey with Jesus and you taking that, that personal kind of relationship and now making it public and deciding to follow Jesus. We're so excited for you. Uh, so I've got two questions for you before we baptize you this morning. Uh, the first is, have you decided to follow Jesus? Yes. yes. And then do you commit to follow him all the days of your life? All right, well, Brandy, it is my honor to baptize you uh, this morning. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in death, raised to walk in a new life. It's awesome. Cool. So I'd, I'd love to pray for you this morning uh, before we keep going. So if you would just bow your heads with me as we pray for Brandy this morning. God, we love you. God, we thank you for Brandy. God, we thank you for her heart and for her life. God, for her decision to follow you. God, like she said in her video, Jesus, that you've given us everything. And so, God, we thank you for her example of giving all of ourselves to you. Uh, God, we pray for Brandy and for her family. You continue to move in their lives. God, that you continue to do incredible things in and through them and here at Cedar Crest and in this community. God, we love you. We thank you. It's in your name we pray. Amen.